Welcome back with an update on rapidly intensifying Typhoon Mawar, which is, well, sitting at 130 mile an hour winds. It just jumped up throughout the day today. Um, and it's forecasted to continue to strengthen. 145. 145. Could it make landfall as a super typhoon in Guam? It could very well. Like 150 mile an hour winds, I could see that happening. And a landfall is forecasted, according to this dotted line. If it were to, it's going right into Lig. Lig. Um, and it, if you're on the coast of Guam, anywhere along the coast of Guam, or any of the nearby islands like Rota, you're going to want to evacuate inland. Um, and this is definitely an urgent situation. It's maintained the strength of 145 mile an hour winds, which is interesting. But becoming a super typhoon by the 25th, 150 mile an hour winds, 155, just north, it does weaken a little bit, 150, so it looks like 155 mile an hour wind peak. Albeit it could very well get stronger than that, a lot sooner than that, than the forecasted date for that. And looks like it is going to try to curve north of the Philippines. It might try to bow back out towards sea, but it will. But if it does, it will probably graze these islands here. Maybe have some direct impacts. Um, but this is definitely something to watch. And this storm is just... If it wasn't for the fact that this is about to take out... Or... Yeah, if this if the fact if it wasn't for the fact that this this was about to slam into Guam, potentially as a super typhoon, this is a beautiful storm. Otherwise, like if it wasn't for the fact that it's going right into Guam tomorrow night, yeah, in less than twenty four hours, this would be a totally different situation. But looking at landfall in twenty four hours. So, I'll damn shot that for thumbnail for now, but I think, there we go, that's better thumbnail. So let's check the radar. And here we go. We got the eye right there. We could actually pull up velocity and you can see the rotation of it. Um, like, this is the outer edge of the eye and you can see rotation with that. Um... Now these outer bands, you could see possible tornadoes pop up, water spouts, it all depends on whether or not it hits land, whether or not it gets determined as a water spout or tornado. So, that is something to watch as well. And we're going to get that storm surge. We're going to have some issues with that. At least it'll be low tide around time of landfall. But, that doesn't really mean too much. And it looks like we got Jim Eds on the scene. So... Um, there's that at least, but, yeah, Jim's Ed is definitely in for a beating, that's for sure, with the storm. Um, although if he wants the eye, he might want to go a little bit further north. Um, outside of that, that's really about it. Um, yeah, this thing is just massive. Um, for sure. But outside of that, that's really about it. Stay safe out there. See you in the next video. Bye.